Hello, my very good friends. Guess what? I got it. I finally got me one. It's arrived today, just a couple of seconds ago, and also a couple of seconds, well, a couple of minutes ago or a half an hour ago, I got this beautiful looking package with full of comics that I have to unbox. I mean, and now I have to know I got this beautiful piece of metal. Now, I'm sure I have to do it with one because I have it here in my hand. I'm going to put it in that stand in just a minute ago or just in a, in a second. So, again, I'm struggling. So, let me see if I can open it up with one hand. No, of course not. Let me try. So, it's unboxing day. Now, I have to open it in... This is, this is so terrible. But it's getting better, you know. It's, it's a sharp knife. As you can see, cuts like fruit like butter and then we have a lot of plastic inside Jesus Christ that's a lot okay put this aside lots of paper get it out of the box holy shit what's in here well I know a little bit what's in here but you know what, just like always, I've got to put it here in the holder, the tablet that I have in my hands, so i got free hands now. So let's start with the small one, with this. I'll put my trusty new knife to use. Listen, how easy it goes. So good. I don't want to have a, uh, you know, really expensive knife. I really don't care about that, or a special knife that looks cool. It just needs to function. You know, to open stuff like this, and that's exactly what I'm going to do with it. So, maybe I should not look through the lens to try to open this up. Okay, go away plastic. Bye-bye. And then we have a Yumbo. Okay, that's... Okay. Oof. To be careful, it's sharper than I thought. What's in the box? Okay, I'm getting somewhere. I'm gonna rip this thing into pieces if it's not gonna open in two seconds. Okay. This is wearing thin. I got some old comics. Not bag and boarded, so that's unfortunate. Hmm. I wonder who this is. Fantastic Four with Miss Marvel. Is this, I believe, the very first Miss Marvel after um, after Carol Danvers? You know, the redhead that turned into a female thing. Oh, what? I wonder what happened to her. Of course, this must be none other than um, Dragon Man, I guess. That's also an old classic Flash. It's not really in... Oh, no. It's not in plastic. Oh, Jesus. Mm, I don't like that. More Flash. Love it. With uh, Justiniano, is that how he is... Uh... Infant Infantino, sorry, Carmine Infantino. Yeah, heat wave, love classic flash. Or two heat waves? Ooh, what's mm, okay? I mean, not everybody likes uh, Infantino's art, but I have a soft spot for him. Okay, awesome. Lots of classic arts, uh, ads, I mean. Is this Gold something something, Goldface or whatever his name is? I know I never get the whole collection of the Flash. It's pr pretty impossible unless you have a, a great wealth of money and then you can get every comic that you want to buy or something. But uh, I don't have that. So I get what I uh, can get. You know, this two dollars or something or three dollars. 
I'm uh, I'm okay with that. What's happening here? Ah, Wally. The real Kid Flash, not the imposter. What is this? Pipe Piper. I don't know her. This is the guy that can make vortexes or, you know, black holes. Don't know who this is. Captain Cold and his, his sister, I'm forgetting. Glider, something like that. Golden Glider, I guess. Cool. Yeah, Dr. Alchemy. Yeah, I mean, Wally is a very good successor to uh, to the original Flash, to Barry Allen. But, you know, Barry Allen is still my, my, my Flash. But uh, Wally is a good one, too. It's a very good one. Until they screwed him over and fucked him up. Ah, okay, this I got. I got a duplicate. Well, it is what it is. Doesn't matter. More Flash. Vixen. No, she looks way different here. I wonder what she looks like. Okay, more, more like punk rock. Raph of Grot. Do I have this one? No. Icicle. Classic villains. Nice. It's so got a Captain America with Ron Lim's art. Cool. And you know what? I'm not really a Captain Marvel, I mean Captain America fan, but you know, I like the whole classic stories with between him and Skull. I, I, I like that. And Ron Lim is, is very good. And he has his classic uh, costume, so I like that. So, what do we have here? It has my name on it. I feel special. Now. Where's my trusty knife? There's a lot of plastic, man. It's cut. I don't know what to cut. But, you know, I'm going to start cutting anyway. And hope it will reveal the truth. Well, basically, revealing comics. That's what I want. More plastic. Oh, yeah. So, thankfully, it's been split up in two. So, it makes it a little bit easier. I hope. I'm not going to be bothered with uh, with these packages. I'm going to rip it open. Um, Cut it open. Anyway. Watch me struggle, guys. Again and again. But that's how an unboxing is. I can do, you know, editing. But well, I can't edit. Not yet. But, uh, no, I don't want to edit. Because I think this is more fun or frustrating. Depends on your, uh, your personal preference. If you want, me, want to see me struggle or not. So we have a Green Lantern here already. Get this out of the fucking box. Yeah. More mosaic. Oh, guys. Issue one. New Warriors. Wait a minute. Do I have more mosaic? Yeah, so let's uh, let's start with... It, well, it doesn't matter. I love the original New Warriors. I mean, speaking of diversity, there's a lot of diversity in here. I mean, this, um, oh, I see that the, the, the crippled female, I forget, Shadow, Shade, something like that, I forgot her name, is not here yet. So probably she's gonna get in here later. And we have a black guy as a leader. So yeah, don't talk about diversity, it's here, it's all here. Bengal, cool. The juggernauts. Freaking awesome. Can't wait to dig in. I've read these comics. You know, I have some Dutch comics with the translated comics, I mean. But uh, I don't have the full story. You know, it's just bits and pieces. Now, ah, prototype and Molly Book comic. I, re I really don't even know if it's actually good. But, you know, I just pick it up for a buck. And see if it's, uh, you know, fun or not. Clearly a ripoff of Iron Man. I'm just guessing, but you know what. 
We'll see if it's good or not. And if not, ha ha! My favorite uh, Ultraverse uh, title for now. This is so good. I love Solitaire. Solitaire is so good. Then I have the Underworld Unleashed. And I'm going to rip it open. Why not? Oh, it's already open. That's good. Here we go. I like the Underworld Unleashed part. That was the part that the rogues, you know, and other heroes sold their soul to Neron. And then the, the young Pied Piper. No, it's not Piper, but uh, what's his name? Trickster. He's uh, actually uh, the main protagonist. Well, not the protagonist. Hero, if you can call him that. Yeah. It's Jim Lee. Looks like Jim Lee. Wait a minute. Yes. Jim and S. Lanning, Bodo, Strucker, Alquiza, Conrad. Going to open it up. Want to see what's going on. Wait a minute, there's something wrong with my camera. Now it's good. Forgive me guys, but it seemed that he just recorded it in the wrong angle. Could be my imagination. So I hope this video will turn all right when I uploaded it. Jim and SR, it's so good. He is at the level at George Paris. He is, uh, I mean, I've seen, I have some comments with his art. He's really detailed. What is this guy? An amalgam of Superman and Doomsday? What the hell? What did they do to him? Fuck small. Nice. I love, I love DC Comics. But you guys already know that. Oh, wow. That's not good at all. Can you see it? It's just almost... Have to be careful with that. So the cover is. Uh, it's, it's, fuck. Okay. Um, that's not good at all. Uh, so more mosaic stuff. I also got this one. I'm not sure why I'm still buying copies of the same book. Because I'm need to get my uh, my stuff in order. This looks good. That's not something new, but before I... Is this a freebie? What's this? Defiant Genesis. Text. More text. Um, I hope I didn't pay for this. I cannot imagine. I... Uh, okay. Don't know what it is, but I'm going to figure it out. So we got Black Sun by, uh, is it the early days of Wildstorm? This is Wildstorm. Also mature readers. So what does that mean? I'm going to find out because I want to know. Come on, get him out of the back. Here he comes. I got uh, very smooth fingers right now. Okay. Oh, that looks nice. Not sure what it's all about. I see some glimpse here and there what it is. Um, okay. Some ninja stuff, I guess. Martial arts, I think. Monsters, also cool. Let's see what it is later, not now. Black Sun. I believe I got the collection. Let's see if it's, you know, worth it. I believe. I can't believe this is Wildstorm. Aha! More classic comics. Love it. Oh, Captain Comet. I actually am a big fan of the. Uh, of Captain Book Comet. I mean, there is, there was a some kind of a reboot with that guy, uh, with the, uh, you know, they they, re well not reimagining him, but 
they updated him and uh, I really like that uh, that comic the art looks stunning Superman and the Phantom Zone I always lo love the classic Zod you know with the beret and the purple suit very nice so what do we have more so this is the last one uh, I'm at 50 minutes here guys well I cannot help it sorry because I have so much comics right so much okay isn't that good let's try again I almost cut through the comics itself I have to be careful I'm very happy with my knife. It's just pretty, uh, it's very sharp. It's better than the old one, I can assure you. Okay, let me take this first out of the bag so I have more space. Wait, this plastic and plastic and plastic. What's this? Ooh, this is my Dreadstar collection. Nice. You know, Gonna show it to you. Bye bye, plastic. Never come back, please. Dreadstar and Company. I've also a trade paperback, but I haven't read it. Um, so I'm not sure if this is also in a trade paperback. I don't think so. Um, Jim Starling's art. You know what I think about Jim Starling. I think he's great. Now, Mas, and to be honest, I do not know this character very well, but when it comes to visuals, I never like guys with beards in comics as a hero. Just like, um, if I look at him, he, I, 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 he reminds me of, uh, you know, Ollie from, um, how do you say, uh, um, Green Arrow. And I also never like Green Arrow. I don't know, I just don't like the, the, the goatee thingy. But, you know, I'm willing to try, and hopefully it's pretty good. Oh, God, I forget I got this one. OMAC by John Byrne. Oh, my God. I forgot about this. This is so cool. Let me, uh, let me show you. Oop, oop. It's black and white. Really? It doesn't matter. I mean, it's it's John Burns on. I don't mind black and white. If it's done good, I'm. I don't mind that. But I have to be short, so I'm gonna open up the other one as well. So this is one, two, three, four. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna open it up anyway. Could be that it's just pure black and white. Yeah. Lots of half naked women. And beat up women, beat up women. Omeg is a very cool character. So I'm not going to show you too much. Put this aside. I'm very happy with that. So we, we're reaching the final stages of this unboxing. So we have the Incredible Hulk. Okay, put this aside. I have the Batman Underworld. Great cover. I have another Hulk with the Grey Gargoyle. And I have another Hulk with the Abomination. What do we have more? Um, more Hulk. I realized I in the last unboxing I have this as well. This is another double. Jesus Christ. Also this one as well, but never mind, I cannot sell it. I mean, there's a lot of people I know that like Hulk. Classic 4, like Classic 4. More plastic, what's going on? Um, you know what, I'm going to show you first this one. Glow in the dark cover, really? Okay, that's cool. Kelly Jones, I believe, is the artist. Kelly Jones is really good. He has a very macabre way of drawing. It's 
very um, horror-esque um, kind of art. I believe he has also done uh, Batman Red Rain when he turned into a vampire. That was a great series. Oh. Ragman, nice. Also like that one, more Ragman. More Hulk, hey hey. Dale Keown, mm -hmm. Dale Keown, great. Can't wait to get this next pit box. Got a Marvel fanfare. This looks really stunning, this cover. I want to know how it looks on the inside. Just give me a second, try to get it out of the bag. G -g -g -g. Dave Gibbons, ah, yes. Then I actually also know what this is. Look at this, it looks so good. Nightmare. Eternity. Freaking awesome. Wow. Cool. Not going to show you too much. Maybe you're going to review it. Maybe not. We'll see. We'll see. So, um, I really don't know why they keep doing this. Where is my knife? Where is it? Oh, it's here. I have to be careful that I'm not cutting myself. Um, so I'm gonna how gonna do this? Really hate this. Uh, give me a second, guys. Okay. The hell? How is this? Fuck off. So, I got Stanley Just Imagine. Um, I'm not sure if this is a... I mean, when I when this came out, I really didn't like it. I don't know, it just didn't feel right somehow. But, uh, you know, I got this from a very good price. And, of course, Dave Gibbons. Uh, I mean, what am I saying? Um, Dave Gibbons, yes. He, he did the Watchman uh, comic. So pretty cool. So let me open it up and show you. Why not? My leg is going to sleep again, so I'm wiggling a little bit here and there. So don't mind me. It's in pretty good condition. Ah, it has um, Kevin Maguire's art. I love Kevin Maguire. It's really good. Nice colors as well. This looks great. I wonder what he's doing now. Okay. Freaking awesome. So, I'm going to show you that a little bit later. I got also Justice League. Um, I couldn't get the Superman with Sal Buscema's art. Uh, one, one of the people that, you know, want to get this comic got it before me. And it really sucks because I'm a big John Buscema fan. Uh, so I missed that. You know, it's so weird. And at a time when it came out, it's it's not really for me. And now that 20, 30 years later, I just want to have it. I don't know. Are you having the same cravings for, I don't know, comics that you're not interested at the time? And now you think, hey, maybe I'm you know, going to give it a shot. Or is it just me? Let, uh, leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment in the video below here and uh, tell me what you think so I believe I also I already have the Wonder Woman one well, surprise surprise this is by Jerry Ordway one of the uh, best Superman artists in my opinion don't like the guy personally, but that's not important. What I think about him personally, uh, if he's drawing great art, I'm buying books. Looks stunning. Looks really good. I don't buy the, the, the Batman and wasn't interested in that one at, at the time. Um, also got a Green Lantern Annual. Okay. Let me open it up. I'm going to just do this last one because it's Walter Simonson's art. And I really love Walter Simonson. 
again, uh, when he did the whole four thing at the time, I'm not interested at all. Now, years later, I'm interested because he did Ragnarok. And Ragnarok is one of the best four comics out there. You should pick it up. It's not from Marvel. It's from IDW. Check it out. It's really, really fun and really good. Okay. Let's cut this one. Uh, put this aside. Yeah. Classic Walter Simonson. You... So weird. And I never liked his art when he did four. And now... How, how, how people can change, right? When it comes to taste. So, uh, no. Oh. Really? Oh, fuck. Well, it's secondhand comics, so, yeah. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Very cool. Yeah, classic Simonson. Love it. Okay, guys. That's it. That's it. That's my unboxing. Um, fuck. Uh, 